um, kind of apples and oranges because um, we need to uh, start insulin when um, the oral therapies have either you know they are not working as well as they should anymore or right. it's not enough right okay, so like i start, said in my earlier you know conversation there's a gradual decline in beta cells as the number of years of diabetes is you know a person has diabetes usually when 50% of the beta cells that make insulin are gone is when diabetes is diagnosed and right. after that there is a steady decline and so initially one pill may be enough then two pills may be enough then there may be three pills and then there comes a time when some basal insulin like lantus or some clarging you know same family uh, may be needed and then we may need to add uh, short acting insulin or a pre mix of insulin so we need to go gradually there so um, if they have come to that point in their care you know spectrum where now they only adding insulin is going to get uh, them into target and the goal range where we want them to so they'll have to you know go on insulin at that point so it's not a question of can i add one more tablet because right. only if there is insulin it, it medications can push them out right uh, right and some medicines that work outside of the insulin you know where what you know they 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 work not by pushing out insulin but but sensitizing the insulin they have but even for that you need a, a critical amount of insulin that's in your blood so the the, the pills may not be enough at one point um at which time we have to add basal insulin um and sometimes for some patients the the pills won't work what what we call like you know primary failure they took it for 3 months they took it for 4 or 5 months it works very well for some doesn't work so well for some so uh, then we'll have to go to plan b right so um as long as people with um, type 2 diabetes um recognize that getting on insulin at some point in their in their diabetes care it may be very early in some it may be much later in some whenever the doctor feels it is needed uh, they should not resist it because as i was mentioning to you aparna if somebody has a thyroid deficiency they take thyroxin right if they have adrenal gland deficiency they take steroids if when they have insulin deficiency they have to take insulin yeah. i absolutely didn't think that i was that bad right <laughs> but my son was studying in st johns at that time he just dragged me off to his teacher and he said come on jyoti let's get mom on to insulin and that's when he start they started me off on lantus i never looked back after that i mean there was nothing to it i don't know why i think it was just in the mind because when you talk to somebody and they say you have diabetes you are on injections you're that bad i mean you know that's the way people uh, uh, react and so that was there in my mind and I, and i feel so silly about it because now when you look back there was so much i could have done with just that one shot which made such a difference to my life 